of the complicated things about uh, the Islamic State when I think about fighting it on, you get to fight it on all these different fronts. There's a physical front, of course, in the Middle East itself, uh, and now you know, Northern Africa, uh, and domestically. Um, there is a virtual front uh, of the internet where they recruit. Uh, there is a cultural front where we're kind of battling this um, ideological uh, temptation. Is the United States doing all that it can on all these different fronts? How do we even coordinate all that stuff? Well, what you've just illustrated is the need for a comprehensive approach. Uh, I often note that somewhat paradoxically, it takes more than just counterterrorism force operations to counter the terrorists like the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda affiliates, uh, and even some of the insurgent movements. These are large groupings, and you just can't drone strike and Delta Force raid your way out of these problems. It takes all of the above. And beyond that, even if you can disrupt the enemy very considerably, uh, ultimately, you have to challenge uh, the enemy in these other spheres. It takes politics, it takes economics, it takes basic services, it takes rule of law. Uh, so again, done all in of four these, years. and it takes yeah. and it takes ideology, yeah. and it does last a long time. Yeah. Again, I offer these different lessons that I think we should have learned from all this, and one of those is that this is a generational struggle, not even just the struggle of a yeah. decade or more. This is going to be an ultra marathon an endurance race, which is one reason that the strategies that we adopt have to be sustainable. 